This is the R46. I've seen some people don't like it. I'm here to just learn why and I guess try proving people wrong. I know there's a lot of fair criticism towards the car, stuff like safety, and I know that they will be replaced with the R211 soon, but I just think that they're a cool car and I just want you to think that as well. I'll start with the negative things. They're the oldest cars in the system. They're also 75 feet long instead of the more standard 60. And originally the cars were prone to cracking, which is a huge issue, and I'll talk about that later. Right now, the biggest issue is that these cars are about 50 years old. We know that as something becomes older, it becomes more unreliable, and there's some fear that these cars won't last until 2025 when the R211s take over. Thankfully, the fleet was overhauled in 1990, and it's still getting regular maintenance checks. Another controversy with the R46 subway cars are their lengths. The R44, R46, and R68 cars are all 75 feet long instead of the normal 60. The longer cars means that they can't run everywhere. For instance, they can't run past Broadway Junction and the J and Z lines, and they're also not able to run in the M line because of a curve. There were cracks. In 1977 and 78, cracks were found in many of the R46. It got so bad that most of the R46 had to be pulled out of service until the trucks could be replaced with the ones on the R44. The R46 became known as lemon cars, or defective. Either way, the reliability has greatly improved, and I don't think the cracks are an issue anymore. Now I've gone over some flaws. Why should you like them? They are fast. Or at least they were fast. It's widely known that the fastest spot in the system is under the 59th Street Bridge on the N, R, and W. And since the N and the W run R46, the R46 must be the fastest train. All joking aside, the R44 does hold the world record for fastest subway car. It was able to reach 87.5 miles an hour on a stretch of the LIRR wrap. The R44 and R46 were designed to run in the 2nd Avenue subway, but that didn't happen for a while, so it ended up being pointless. And the reason why I said they were the fastest was because a test was done in the 70s, and there's a chance that they got slower. I would say the R46 is by far the smoothest train the MCA owns. I'm curious to hear other opinions on this, but I think that they rock back and forth smoothly rather than doing all the crazy bouncing that other cars do. They have many armrests, and yes, the R68 has armrests as well, but those are horrible, and I don't like them. So if you add together the armrest, transverse seating, and not terrible paint job and materials, you get a pretty comfortable car. I've also noticed that the R46 resembles the Shoreliner cars on the Metro North. That's not important, I just wanted to point that out. Lastly, I'd like to point out the destination signs. The R46 uses an LCD display on the inside and outside of the train. Compared to the newer R68, I prefer these more. Unlike the R68, these actually tell you the direction the train is going in. They also tell you if the train is running local or express. That was my video on the R46. Overall, I really like the car. I understand it's getting replaced with the R211 because it's way too old now, but it's still really nice. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I'm working on others, but you can also check out my Wordle video. Thank you for watching, have a good day.